Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to another video. All right, let's check it out. Let's see what we got for you right now. If you like German classics, you got the right video. If you like German sedans or saloons from the late 70s and 80s, well, you're looking at a perfect video. Let's see what we got for you right now. We have a 143 scale Volkswagen Jetta MK1, which is the first generation of the Volkswagen Jetta. Now, the Volkswagen Jetta, just to get into details, the first generation came out in 1979, and it was built, I tell you right now, so you get all the details on the first generation, it was built between 1979 until 1984, to so early 1984, and then after that, the second generation came out, which if you think this one is square... The second generation is a lot more squarish. <laughs> so, and they were quite popular. This model in their five-year run, it sold almost 600 examples. To be exact, 571-030 examples sold. Not a bad number, I got to say. But uh, the good thing about this Volkswagen, they were selling all over the world, even in North America, which a lot of European brands, unfortunately, they don't have that um, extra number of cars sold because a lot of them did not sold in North America. So, but, and plus Volkswagen is really respected everywhere. It's really always been, it's one of those brands that is always, is known everywhere. Let's put it like that. Assembly lines. Let's talk about where this car was built all over the world. It was built in Germany, obviously, their homeland. I also had in Yugoslavia, back in the old Yugoslavia. Also in South Africa and in Mexico. And by the way, the designer for this model was Giorgetto Giulia, Giuliato. Giuliato, I'm sorry. Excuse, excuse my Italian, it's horrible. Oh, I, if I'm Italian, I would be cursing on myself right now. <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Body-wise, it had a two-door notchback sedan, which is the one that we... Four-door, I'm sorry. Yeah, four-door sedan. The one that we're looking at right now. Sedan or saloon, how you call it in other parts of the world. Or a two-door sedan or saloon. And don't forget the. The hatchback, it was more or less the Volkswagen Rabbit or Volkswagen Golf, however you know it in your country back then. But it, that was based, this is the sedan version more or less of the Volkswagen Golf. So just slightly bigger because, you know, they want to make it not exactly like the sedan or saloon version of it, but it, more or less it was. <laughs> Transmission-wise, you had a four-speed and a five-speed manual, and then you also had a three-speed automatic. So you know you got the best of both worlds. Remember both worlds. World, excuse me, my God, my tongue is getting twisted. What's going on? Oh Lord, <laughs> a lot of videos is getting to me. No, I'm just kidding. I love doing this. I really enjoy it. So why I said. Four and a five-speed manual transmission and that three-speed automatic. So you got the best of everyone out there who like to drive. It depends on what transmission you rather drive on. Okay. I'm going to let it go around a few times, guys, and I'll be right, right back.
All right, guys. So, quite interesting vehicle, right? By the way, guys, there is a resin model, if I didn't say it before, and it's made by Neo. Another thing I was looking at it before, and I remember I made a video a while ago, probably a few years ago, of the Volkswagen Polo. And the Polo, if you look, if you search in the Volkswagen diecast playlist, you'll see the Polo there. The sedan, which I never seen the Volkswagen Polo sedan or the hatchback, because they were never sold in North America. But the Volkswagen Polo sedan, it looked quite similar to this one. Quite similar. Not the exact same, but shape wise, but I'm guessing it was a little smaller because in Europe. The Polo is actually below the Golf or the Jetta. So I'm guessing it was a little s below the... And one more um, note to bring on is that in Mexico, this car was not called the Volkswagen Jetta. It was called the Volkswagen Atlantic. I like that. I, I think I have it as a diecast. I have to search it. I have to look in the boxes. But I have it as a diecast which I'm putting all my die cast and resins in, in the glass shelves because there's so many of them, it's getting overwhelming. And I want to look at them. I want to make sure I'm able to see them when I'm in my house. All right, everyone. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this car. Does it bring you memories? Have you ever drove one of these? Or maybe you were lucky and had one of these, owned one of these. Were they reliable? You don't see them no more on the roads at all. At least where I'm at, they don't see them. I'm not sure in other parts of the world, but they were, you know, they were economic cars. They were not built to last forever as other models may do. Not these. These were built to, like, get, let's get you a cheap running new car to be feel safe for a few years. <laughs> All right, everyone, don't forget to click and subscribe and click the bell next to the subscribe button that will remind you when I'm posting more videos. And please don't forget to give me that beautiful thumbs up that I always appreciate. Thank you so much for doing so. Comment in below. Let me know in the, in the comments. And take care of yourselves. That's the most important thing, more than ever. And goodbye.